Now, question number two. If it's all witness, this, this is a real question. And I'm, I'm, I'm not surprised by it anymore, but it's amazing that people will think this way. Question number two. If it's always God's will to heal, how will I ever die? Now think about that. That's what you have to worry about. That's, that's on the top of your mind is how you're going to die if God always keeps healing you. I mean, can you imagine? I'm telling you, people will never cease to amaze you. But that's the question. If it's always God's will to heal, how will I ever die? Well, many people in the Bible died without sickness or disease. They lay down. They bless their children, their grandchildren, their great-grandchildren. They bless them. And then they commit their spirit to God and they stop breathing. Amen. It's that simple. Now, in modern times, many people have done that. I could give you history, right, of uh, people. My grandmother did that. We, we prayed with her and she was ready to go and she said she wanted to go. And we prayed and before we got home, she was gone. Uh, E.W. Kenyon died that way. Charles Capps died that way. Uh, many people have died this way. Now, the thing is, by the time a doctor gets to look at them, he doesn't know what happened. All he can say is, it looks like a heart attack. Why? Because guess what? When you give up the breath, the heart stops working. When you give up your spirit, it's going to freeze up. It's going to stop. And it wasn't a heart attack. That was afterwards. By the time the heart attacked, you were gone. Amen? Amen. So that's the way to go if you're going to go. They just quit breathing. Now, 